The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. As autumn gives way to winter, brothers Chris and Casey Kiefer are drawn to the wild places on a live to hunt, hunt to live mission. Dropped with very little to rely on but each other. Each new season brings with it a new arena and new challenges. Together, the Kiefer brothers have faced angry predators, extreme hunger, impassable terrain, and volatile shifting weather patterns. They've explored hundreds of miles of desolate mountain ranges, unsettled tundras, raging rivers, and unpredictable perils of territories where few are willing to go. All for the love of the hunt, to test themselves, to test each other, not to prove anything to anyone, but to feed the fire inside. This is Dropped. Amazing grace, what sweet a sight to see her dressed in white. I once was lost, but now I'm found through her amazing grace and a soft cotton Northern Saskatchewan, the land of living skies, landlocked and sparsely populated, this diverse province has a reputation of being equal parts beautiful and brutal. The grasslands of southern and central Saskatchewan surrender to the thick boreal forests of the north, where black bears, wolves, and moose patrol towering thickets of spruce and pine. This is where the Kiefer brothers will carve out a living for the next 30 days. With a change in arena comes a change in the rules. The brothers have access to thousands of acres of Canadian wilderness by way of a remote lake. They've been afforded a motorized fishing boat, just big enough to transport their gear and a limited supply of fuel reserves. For the duration of their journey, this boat will be their lifeline, allowing them to search for the lake trout, northern pike and walleye that soar through the depths beneath them, while providing the opportunity to scout and hunt the vast expanses of the game-rich northern timber. The Kiefer brothers hold tags for a moose and a black bear, but a tag is far from a guarantee. Where do I call home? Where do these bones belong? Anywhere I lay my head Anywhere I sing my song Another cold morning has arrived in northern Saskatchewan and the Kiefer brothers are just one week away from extraction. A fresh skiff of snow blankets the unforgiving landscape, while the clock keeps ticking on one of the toughest tests the brothers have ever faced. They're heading out in search of moose, with hopes of finishing what they started. Lord, I don't want to die If you're not coming along Coming along Coming along. Mm. The fire looks good. Warming up the feet. What's that? Is it warming up your feet? Yeah. Oh, getting her going. I don't know what else we can do, man. It's just a patience game at this point. I mean, we gotta just keep. We gotta just keep hitting our spots. Just hit our spots. There's no other method to moose on other than, you know what I mean? Hit and call. Make sure we could hike two miles back in there, but what the hell are we doing for ourselves? I mean, we have definitely proven in the past that it can be done smarter. <laughs> That's for sure. No doubt. I'm just glad the weather broke right now. I mean, to see some blue sky, to see just a hair of sunshine. Maybe that's what we needed, that front to get out of here. I don't know, I'm just, the anticipation of a grunt right now is like, like I'm just waiting to hear it. Well, it's so funny because every time I build a fire in Moose Hunt, I think back to like seven years ago. When the idea of having a fire in the middle of a hunt was like, 
What? Like that was insane. Completely foreign to us. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, it goes back to my, the grunt. I mean, that first time hearing that that deep oh. and sitting in camp, that adrenaline rush that hits you, and that's oh, surge. That's where I'm at right now. It's like that surge. I'm just patience is there, but it's like, come on. Like, where are they? They gotta be here somewhere. Yep. But there's only so many spots they can be, you know? Yeah, so you think about it. I mean, we went 18 days between Maniac and that first grunt without seeing anything. Yeah. Blew through 16 miles of white water and we pop out at Prayer Point and in the blink of an eye, everything changes. Everything changed, like. And it all started with one grunt. It's midday in the wilds of Saskatchewan, and the late autumn sunshine has managed to wash away most of the snow that fell overnight. The slight warming is a welcome change of pace, but tensions and tempers around camp are reaching a fevered pitch. Gear check. Yeah, I'm just going through it. Figure if we're gonna be back here and getting warm, we might as well have something warm to drink. What do you think the plan is for this afternoon? I got it nice and warm in there, but what do you wanna do? Well, we got plenty of daylight, so I just, let's make this quick. Let's get warm and then I wanna go back into where we've been, back into that bog right there. I wanna get in there and see if we can get after them. We've been calling in there for days. So, I mean, we might as well get back in there and, and just, I, I don't know what else to do. No, I know. I'm just at. A, I mean, I'm just at a point where patience is running thin, and I'd rather divide and conquer and see if we can't find something in some animals. I mean, just at that point. Yeah, but if we divide and conquer, I mean, I get it. You have a bear tag. I know you want to hunt bears, but it's not like you're not hunting. I mean, you're still hunting, but you're just with me. I mean, moose hunting is a two-man game. So, and aside from running all over hell's creation and frickin' burning another tank of fuel. Well, it's not like, I mean, I burned a tank of fuel on purpose. I burned a tank of fuel trying to find a hunting spot. I so get I, it. I mean, I'm looking and hunting. That's, I mean, that's why I have fuel. I, I mean, we burned it. And I, I know we're burning more, but it's like, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just at a point right now where with this weather change, I mean, I'm gonna have, before too long, bears are gonna be in hibernation. Listen, I completely understand it. I get it. I don't know what else to do. You know how this game is played. It's a freaking. I mean, I don't know if what we're doing is right. It's what we've done on every trip that we've ever done, is have patience, call, and call from the same spot, remain consistent. If we can do that, if you can give me one more day to do that, then, I don't, then go do whatever you want. Burn as much fuel as you feel like burning. Well, I don't know that it's burning fuel as much as it is hunting. I understand I'm with you and I'm hunting, but at the same time, I mean, listen, all right, we're getting to the point right now. It's cold, it's, it's or the patience is wearing thin. I'm just at that point. I'm, I'm at a point right now where something's gotta give, something's gotta happen. I'll give you one more day. We'll work together. We'll see if we can go back there. We didn't try there this morning. Who knows what's gonna happen? But at the same time, once that's done, I wanna talk about a plan to divide and conquer or explore more parts of this lake. It's fine. That's where I'm at with it. It's fine. Give me one more day after that. I don't give a Fine. I'll give you one day. The recent shift to colder weather patterns has inspired a drastic change in the habits of Chris and Casey's potential food sources. The fish have halted their feeding, and resident bears have begun their transition to hibernation mode, completely disappearing from the Kiefer Brothers' hunting grounds. Food options are scarce, and meals are few and far between but the brothers are still expending the same amount of energy in their efforts searching for food. This leaves them in a dangerous caloric deficit, weakening their bodies and dampening their spirits. As time wears on, the elusive moose is becoming their only viable option for food. Well, I mean, I just gotta go blow some steam. Just, just time happens. You got two brothers out here for this long. Temperatures dropping, cold weather, everything starts to get to me. Starting to feel the pressure, we're getting down on days. Weather's moving in, weather's beating the hell out of us, to be honest. It's probably the coldest drop that I've ever had from start to finish. And uh, it wears on you, I can always tell it wears on us when we start getting on each other's case more and more, as is the case right now. I mean, I wanna go bear hunting, it's what I wanna do. 
And uh, I get it. I mean, I get where he wants to go with it. But I want to go bear hunting. And uh, the older brother in me doesn't want to give in. The smart person in me realizes that he's probably right. Are you the Watch all episodes of Ice Pilots. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free. No subscription required. Download Beely now. You know, he's a hard-headed son of a bitch, which is what makes him good at what he does. But at the same time, I mean, you can't have a motor that doesn't stop 24-7. The guy's got a motor that just never shuts off, which is awesome, but it gets us into trouble at times. We have this argument, it happens. You get frustrated out here and things happen. No doubt about it. But then, it's like, for some reason, I don't know, mom knows. And I'll tell you why, because I'm getting ready to leave the tent, I'm blowing out of here to do it, and I get a text on the inReach. I haven't heard from my mom. I let her know that we're alive when we landed. And that's it, but I get this thing on the inReach. This is what it says, you gotta see this. It says, right here, hey guys, I'm not sure if you'll even get this, but I'm thinking of you both. Today is the day to hunt and succeed. There is a big moose waiting for you. Knock him down and have a feast of joy. Love, love, love you, mom. What? are we talking about here? My mom, from hundreds and thousands of miles away, she knows. I don't have a better plan aside from continue to call from the spots that we've been calling, go to the most likely areas, and give it your best shot. If I had another plan, we'd be doing it. If we could split up every day and go hunt and just do our own thing and come back and meet up together, we'd be doing it. I'd be fine with that, but we don't have that luxury. We're limited on fuel. We're limited on where we can go. We just, we got to stay together. We got to keep working together. Sometimes getting that message across is not nearly as easy as it sounds. I'm going to follow mom's intuition on this, and I'm going to let him do what he's going to do, and I'm going to cave. But I'm going to tell you this right now. If it doesn't work out tonight, I'm going to do what I want to do, and that is go bear hunt. Mom, I hope you're right. With the help of a surprise message from Mom, Chris has decided to put his disagreements with Casey aside. Motherly love strengthens the bonds between brothers, and today it's just what he needed to refocus. In Saskatchewan, a hunter's luck can change as quickly as the weather. The brothers have spotted a bull on shore in the same area they've been calling for the past five days. It's time to execute the plan. Casey and I just saw a bull. We were driving, we've been calling here, we're coming back to hunt, there's a bull standing there. We're gonna try and put a spot and stock on him right now. We're gonna try and cut him off. Get up, okay, we're gonna get up in here. And we're gonna get on top and see if we can't get around him. We finally got a bull. It's action, go time, baby. The stock begins by putting distance between Chris and Casey. Casey gains ground. Chris hangs back to call, with hopes to lure the moose into Casey's shot range. the ball back. 
back in here behind us, but he's on the other side of this knob. He's down in there, I can't see him. Blood and adrenaline is pumping so hard right now after this long in the bush. And finally, we see a moose coming back. You gotta love it. Oh man, heart's pumping. He's not a giant, doesn't matter. I don't care if he's a spike horn. This is a meat bowl. This is gonna feed our family. This is amazing. This is why I do it, baby. This is our be alive right here. Position perfectly, our wind is good. He can't walk by Casey on the right unless he cuts all along the bank of the lake where we just came from. We could get screwed. But at any moment, he could just pop up right on top of them. Patience is beginning to pay off for the Kiefer brothers. After five days of hunting hard, a bull moose has finally answered their calls. Casey is moving into position, while Chris calls from a distance to keep the bull's attention off of his brother. Yes! Yes, baby! Yes! Down. I see it! Woo! <laughs> Persistence pays off! As abruptly as it began, the hunt for Saskatchewan's finest is over. The brothers work through the challenges of hunting to live in the North Country. They butted heads and exchanged words when passion took over, but they never lost sight of the mission and came together like true brothers when it mattered most. That is a long time coming right there on this trip. Oh, man. <laughs> he died six steps from where we called for, for three days. For days. Yeah. Right there is where we were standing. For days. You, like, and it's been how many days? Yeah. So many. Sitting there yep. calling, and here we come back, and as we're coming in, there's a bull. We make it happen. Just like that. That's moose hunting for you. It's a hurry up and wait. It's, it's maddening at times. Oh, it feels so good. Like the relief is just unbelievable. I gotta sit for a minute. Be alive, baby, be alive. Well, we're just picking our way through here, trying to get up to this bull. He wasn't more than 70 yards when I shot him. We got uh, walking through this burn. I was shocked. There he is right there. Where? Right there. Oh, yes. I was shocked he actually came through this burn. <laughs> there he is. Dude. Oh, it's so good to see him on the ground, man. Oh, I'm not kidding you. I was panicking. Heart attacks. City. I love it. That's a long time coming right there. there he Laying is. right down there. Yep. Let's get up there. Persistence pays off, man. That's it. The highs and lows. Just gotta keep after it, keep on them. Day number five in here. Yep. Something like that. Oh, going down. Going down. Oh. Heads up. Yeah, broken knee on the way, but that's all right. Did you make it? You made it this far. I'm just, I'm flustered. I'm excited about it. I get excited. I get really excited. That's the best part. It's the story you dropped, highs and lows. There he is, buddy. Right there. Oh, what a beautiful animal. Here he is. Look. 
What a beautiful animal right there. He is gonna do wonders in our freezer. I cannot tell you. I can't even begin to tell you the ups and downs that you go through out here for an extended period of time, hey? What do you think? I don't know. It's like the adrenaline rush is wearing off right now and you realize like, I mean, we set out to challenge ourselves. Every year we try to do this and we go up and we go all the way to the bottom. And then something like this, this unbelievably majestic animal like this comes out and all the reward and we're able to take home and provide for our families, I love it. And that right there is all that matters. We do this as family, we get to go home and provide for our families.